Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Virgo weekly money and career reading from June 24th to the 30th, 2024. Virgos, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Virgo weekly money and career June 24th to the 30th, 2024. Thank you for being here. I hope you are all well. Be on the lookout on the Here Out for the magic word if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading. All you have to do is put it down below in the comment section and be subscribed. I will pull one name and announce it at the end of the month of June, which is actually, I cannot believe it, we are already at the end of the month of June, um, at the end of this reading. So. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment, make sure you put that magic word down below, Virgo. Thank you for your patience. Uh, these uh, readings are going to be uploaded in, um, in a different order, a bit delayed uh, from the usual schedule. Uh, uh, thank you for your patience. Uh, I had to take a little break for my voice. Uh, and uh, here I am back. So thank you all for being here. All right, let's get started, Virgo. And let's see what energies we have for this upcoming week. Virgo, weekly money and career. Ace of Swords, nice. Clarity, new direction or clarity in a situation. The truth is coming out. You're able to redirect your energy to push forward, to think differently and to think with clarity. Now that you have the answer, now that things are coming out, you, you have a whole new way of thinking moving forward in um, on a path that is clear, clear, Focus ahead. Ah, so maybe you've been working on something. Maybe you've been developing a project, developing a business. Uh, try, you know, it feels like something has been in gestation. Maybe you're trying to get into a school. Maybe you've been working on something specific. Um, the high priestess is about understanding awareness, but also revealing, you know, coming from the secret to bringing it to the outside world, right? From idea to reality, from secret project or confidential project to bringing it out into the open and making it public. It's, um, it, so it feels like this is an idea that you either are getting a green light on something or maybe you're finally getting answers on something uh, on a project, idea, business, job. Maybe you're starting a new job, you're getting answers. Maybe you are finally able to start your business, to develop that project or to get into that school, getting into that training program, whatever it is. The high priestess is something that has been brewing for a while, right? She is the inside of right she is the um the idea she is your mind she is your soul she is that idea you've been nurturing that business you've been um developing that job you've been wanting researching uh that project you have been writing or that book you've been writing or that um script you've been writing or even that job you really want right trying to focus on that so whatever you've been nurturing patiently because she is also all about patience but she's also about your wise um and very rich um, mindset, right? Whatever's been in your mind, whatever you've been trying to make happen, this is finding clarity on that. King of Wands. 
Aries Leo Sag, but I think it's you empowered to leave things behind, to leave those swords behind, those complications, those conflicts, those, but I don't even think it's that. I think it's you in your mind, those triggers, those things that have been bothering you, uh, making you feel stuck or making you feel um, not ready, not competent enough, or but that's just in your mind, um, uh, or not experienced enough, or or just not ready. It's not the time, right? I think you're le you're letting that go. I like that, and you're moving into something softer, smoother. And here again, this King of Wands keeps popping up. It's about being confident, and it's a being. It's about not caring what about what other people think, really, and owning, daring. Uh, daring to be different, daring to finally start that business, daring to finally uh, develop that project, daring to finally put it out there, Re really from dream to reality, that's the way it feels, or from, from idea to reality, and daring to put it out there. And maybe this is something you've wanted to do for a very long time, and now you got this. Now it's time to put it out there, to put your idea out there, your talent out there, your your job, uh, you move and, and start something, start that new adventure. But I don't think this adventure, job, project, school, business, whatever it is, is new in your mind. This is something you've nurtured for a long time. So time to push it forward, time to make it happen. All right, let's see what else we have here, Virgos. What messages do we have? Yes, time to make it happen. Creating, sealing the deal. I love it. The Empress, sealing the deal. So not only you are transforming this idea this project, this job, this business, whatever it is that you've been nurturing, putting it out there, but you're sealing the deal. So maybe you're waiting for partners. Maybe you're waiting for money. Maybe you're waiting for that callback, that green light, that maybe to be accepted in that school or accepted in that training program or creating. It feels creative with the Empress. It feels like you're creating something and you've nurtured something, double high priestess and empress, very feminine energies, but also the capacity of um, bringing whatever it is that you've been nurturing, um, uh, bringing other people into the equation. In other words, maybe you're going to join a team or maybe you are hiring people or maybe you're partnering up or associating yourself with other people to create something, you're leading a team here. You're leading a team. People see you. You're confident. Um, you're excited. Uh, you're powerful. But you're, it's, like, it's like job well done. You have nurtured this to the point where now it's existing. And so I, is this your business? Is this your something you've written or create a project? Is this a talent you're putting out there? Are you an artist? Are you a musician? Are you a dancer? Are you a, 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 a chef? Are you anything, right? Is this something that you have? For me, the Empress is also, uh, yes, um, being with like-minded people, like sharing your empathy, sharing your art, your, your talent, um, creating, creating beauty around you. It's all about uh, the beauty of the world. Um, it, it maybe you're maybe you're creating something very aesthetic. Maybe this is about um, I'm seeing flowers. Maybe you're a gardener, right? Maybe you're planting flowers. I don't know. Maybe you have a beautiful garden. Maybe you're in horticulture. You say horticulture. I don't know. Um, it, whatever it is, it feels like you want to be in that beautiful space. So it can be an artistic space. You can be writing lyrics. You can be uh, a musician. Again, you can be uh, a singer. You can be writing poetry. You can be uh, expressing your art, whatever it is. Maybe you're painting. Maybe you're doing pottery. Maybe you're, again, 
Maybe you're making jewelry. Maybe you're making essence, right? Maybe you're making perfume, natural essence, or things like that. It feels very luxurious. Again, doesn't have to be luxurious, but it, it feels very um, aesthetic and um, pleasing. Pleasing is the word. All right, three of swords. While you're moving away from that, whatever the three of swords is, maybe it's that truth or maybe, you know, uh, the understanding that whatever happened, the three of swords, something hurtful or something that ended can be a job that ended or it can be also the communication that's ending. King of swords is truth, you know, judging the situation appropriately, being honest being truthful. And I think that you want the, the truth. You're leaving something behind. You're leaving swords behind. So you can be leaving conflicts behind, ideas that, you know, things you didn't agree with in the past with other people. And the three of swords is being disappointed, the end of something. Let's see where this is going. But you're speaking your mind. And you're very clear. Can be a Gemini, Lib Libra, Aquarius, but I think this is you speaking your mind on your terms. This is on your terms. Yep, leaving that behind. You, you're, you're nostalgic of the old, and but you're. I feel like you're leaving it behind. Yep, end of cycle. So. Even if maybe you've been, you were working with these people, maybe this is even family, maybe you were working with kids, maybe these are people that you were working with before. Or maybe this is your hometown, maybe this is, you're just nostalgic of something, maybe the past job or maybe the job you're in now didn't represent what you wanted or really made you nostalgic of the preceding job or back in the day or back where you were before or your childhood or your hometown or your family even, right? Maybe a little homesick there. Possible. You know, sometimes we can be homesick from not because we don't live in the same place that our home was when we were a ch our childhood place, town, neighborhood, whatever it is, city, country. But we can be homesick from our past, homesick from our past. And back in the day or when it was so much easier or when it was clear for me or just was excited, exciting. And I really loved working with those people or really loved working in that company or in that team or in that subject, whatever it is. But you're leaving that behind. And maybe it's a little hurtful. Maybe you have to leave something behind. I think you're happy, even though it is a little hurtful. I think you're happy to just be able to move on into something smoother, to be able to get into that artistic spirit. And if it's not artistic, it certainly feels creative. Whatever you're creating. <coughs> It's full cycle. And I feel like, yeah, the end of a cycle, beginnings and endings, right? Endings and beginnings with the with the world card, but also understanding where you stand, what your purpose is in this new job or what your purpose is in this new, in this um, business or project or school you're getting yourself into, right? This The high priestess is also opening yourself up to other skills. So opening yourself up, yourself up to people with more experience, maybe they're gonna help you, open doors for you, train you, or maybe classes, or maybe you're just gaining information on in a community of people that can help you uh, and find clarity and, and, and give you information on this next step forward on whatever it is that you're beginning. It's going to be different for everyone. But this is really, the high priestess is that gestation, like I said, something you've been nurturing for a while, but now opening up to more skills to take it to the next level. King of Cups, stabilizing. Stabilizing, I like that. 
And that's going to put you in a position where you're going to be able to make those decision in a ver decisions in a very mature, stable, calm way, not irrational, not, not acting on a rash decision, right? Really stabilizing to be able to create, to be able to work with this team, with these people on this creative project. Very nurturing and very stable. Again, can be working with kids or can be working in an artistic environment or in a community that really brings people together. Yes, moving into smoother waters, softer waters. And again, just like the High Priestess, the star is about revealing something. It's almost like the big reveal, right? It's, it's, um, I'm writing the big reveal, sorry. Um, it's, it's about moving, um, you know, the, the dream to reality. That's what the star is all about. Bridging the gap between what you've been working on for a very long time or aiming for, for a very long time. And now finally bringing it to reality. And you're proud of that and people are proud of you, and people see how much hard work you put into that. It's about owning what it is you've been wanting to work on, and maybe, maybe with the Six of Cups, and because of this Three of Swords, you have the desire to go back to sources, to back Go back to something you really wanted to do for a very long time. Back to nature, back to something that is essential for you, back to your family, back to your hometown, or back to uh, a project that you know you had in the bottom of the drawer, or back to a, a job or a field that you used to do back in the day. Maybe it's that. Whatever it is, it's the calm after the storm, right? The calm after the deception. And it's also making peace with yourself, with your decisions, and being in a more serene, more protective, you're, you're, you're protected now. Your inspiration, your imagination, and your courage to push yourself forward and create your future, your future career, <coughs> is really putting you in harmony with your environment, with the people around you, with the team, with whoever it is you're working with. I don't feel like you're alone on this or or if it's your if, if it's your idea and you're alone, you're certainly going into um, an environment, whether it's a, a school or a community or a team of people or a company, whatever, or maybe you're creating this team, you're putting, you're moving into harmony, really. In this harmony, yeah, you're really moving into a team of professionals that are that are very creative and it's bringing harmony in your career in your job i like that i really like that yes working hard not surprising virgo always working hard moving forward this is now suddenly moving forward suddenly action suddenly messages people are messaging you it's happening and this queen of cups that has been coming up quite often here people around you listening to you more guidance more empathy a lot of people yes when you show up somewhere on at meetings or maybe these are new people you're working with or maybe you're you're connecting with people you know to to develop this project or maybe you're in a new school just a new environment right whatever it is you're doing these are people that are happy to listen to you. They're excited that you're there. You can have open conversations, enthusiastic conversations on ideas, on things, whatever it is that you're doing. It's exciting. And again, with like-minded people, you can now reveal to the world whatever it is that you've been wanting to do. I like this. I really do. Hmm. All right. Let's see what we have in the second deck, Virgo, weekly, money and career, June 24th to the 30th, 2024. I like this star. Yeah.
I'm not going to get back on the High Priestess, but the big reveal just confirming. And maybe this is something that has been secret for a very long time. And maybe now you're finally uh, getting into that program, right? Or, or able to have contact, right? Opening doors to people really, really higher up in the field you are in, whatever. Maybe people are helping you, you know, get that job or get that project up and ro rolling or that business, whatever it is. All right, yes, so you're very resourceful. Bring it all together. Um, the, the, the strength card here tells me that whatever sources you need, you're gonna go get them. Whatever people you need to connect with, you're gonna go find them, or they're gonna come to you. Whatever it is you need to make this reality, you know, you have this strength of character and you have the intelligence to power through and, and to control this environment, to control this project, to control whatever team, whatever process you need to put in place to make it happen. This is really the ability to control the situation, achieving that harmony in your environment. Again, yes, again, that harmony. I like that. I like that. It's and it, and you also know that so this is the right place to be. This is going to be the right people to work with. Um they're going to help you find solutions. They're going to help open doors for you. But it's also you that is almost like a natural here. These people are allowing you to be yourself and therefore natural in your talent, in creativity, or developing whatever it is that you're developing. Very nice. Four of Swords, taking a breather, resting. It's important to rest. It's important to replenish. I think that this Three of Swords has put you into a moment where you you had to resource yourself, you had to reflect on what was going on, and a moment of tranquility and rest is important. Page of Cups, there's your new, there's your offer, there are your new messages, creative offer, new people, whatever it is. There it is, that Page of Cups. The ability to move forward in this creative group of people, environment, company, business, whatever it is, right? Pages are all about fresh new beginnings. And particularly the page of cups is about unexpected, unexpected inspiration, creativity. So... It is about being open. So make sure you are open. So I think that as you come out and do this big reveal, or at least connect with people, it's almost like you're knocking on doors. In the beginning, you're knocking on doors very timidly, very quietly, like maybe can you help me or I have this great idea. Is this something you'd be interested or do you think it's a good idea or do you think, right? And then little by little, it's getting louder and louder and louder because people are understanding that your idea is really pretty cool. So it's almost like an unexpected inspiration that you knocked on the door, not really expecting much or maybe just discussing something or maybe just having a conversation on what you, you know, what you would like or what you're trying to sell or what you're trying to develop or what school or training program you're trying to get in or whatever business you're trying to start, right? And then all of a sudden, it's like snowballing into new ideas. And your intuition is on par. So embrace this inspiration. This feels like it's leading, really leading you to a whole new adventure, opening new doors. This is a big push to create, big, big push forward. And look at this. And again, Virgo, I do not invent this. This is something that really, really happens often. You have the sun card, happiness, success, abundance. Again, because when you knock on those doors, 
Virgo, you have this big smile. You're excited. You want to share your idea. You want to share your excitement, your enthusiasm. And your enthusiasm is contagious. Your success or your vision is contagious and people want to work with you. That is sharing your positive energy, your warmth. And the more you share that excitement and that positive energy in this beautiful idea, business, whatever it is, people want to work with you. People want to help you or people want to open doors for you or people want to partner up with you or, you know, whatever it is. That is a, the beauty of the sun. It's a happy surprise. It's a happy surprise. I love this. And I really feel like it's not at all about ego, right? This is just your push to create. So be open. Be open. All right, let's see if there are a few more cards in this last deck. A Virgo. weekly money and career if you wish to join the card minds energy base would love to have you virgo not only it helps the channel it helps me but it also gives you access to tarot questions during lives so if that's something you're interested the community it's a beautiful community would love to have you there all you have to do is click the join button and that'll take you wherever you wish to go. I know it's not for everyone, but it is pretty cool. All right. Here we, ooh. Okay. Well, there we go. Lots going on. Okay. So, seven of swords. That's your deception. That person that lied to you or you know just deception and hurtful moments because maybe you didn't expect this person or the situation right to end whatever it is you don't trust these people or this entity or the situation or the dynamic whatever it is all right yes and i'm gonna pull that yes seven of cups the disillusions and the ego battle, the constant ego battle and disillusions in a job, but it can also be with a friend. It can be a family dynamic. It can be any of that that just made you upset and, and blocked in your excitement for this next step in your career. But here we go. Again, I want to say again, yes, King of Cups making your decision, but also this is calming you down. Whatever it is, whether it's a person helping you or the truth that is told that's unblocking whatever this that hurt you, you're now able to move forward with um, an energy of commitment, but yet calm energy, stability, mature, uh, not, not letting too much affect you emotionally, remaining stable and not making irrational decisions just because the other person is an idiot. Sorry, that, that's just what's coming out. All right. And so here, as much as the, here's the battle of the three of swords, and here is the new adventure. Beautiful. You have, so you're really, this is really a liberation for you the fool to do whatever you want or to do finally to reveal that project, business, idea, whatever it is, job that you've been wanting for such a long time that you've kept secret or that you've nurtured, you, you were working on, but you didn't really reveal it to too many people. And so here you have this moment of excitement and energy to just dare and be yourself and get out of your comfort zone and just Go out and do it. Go out and do it, Virgo. Because this is the moment you were waiting for. Look at that. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. Being with a great team, 
excited, the joy of being in the right place, being able to express yourself artistically, people listen to you, it's just exciting because nothing is blocking you. You're in the right place. You're with the right people. And you have sun, double the sun. Who gets double the sun besides Virgo? Honestly, who gets double the sun? And you do have the world. So no matter what, you're going into a new chapter. No matter what, this is a new cycle. Whether you were ready for this, right, or not, or you knew you were going to do it down the road, or you knew at one point you were going to do it, but it, maybe you weren't ready for this right now. So maybe it is a little bit of a surprise with this, um, with this page of cups. Surprise new idea or surprise let's do this now. All of a sudden you're meeting the right people or all of a sudden, you know, that little knock you did on you, you that little knock on the door, and I know it's a click now, it's not a knock. <laughs> it's not a knock. That little click or that little knock is just amplifying that now you're seen, now your project is seen, now you can develop it, now you can put yourself out in the world, now you can transform it into reality. Wow, abundance, abundance, Virgo. I wanna say that the magic word is, uh, let's say the big reveal, the big reveal, Virgo. Um, so if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading, all you have to do is put the big reveal down below in the comment section. And don't forget to be subscribed. This is the last week. So if you're not subscribed, I can't put you in the hat. So um, I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so, so much for watching, Virgo. Thank you. Thank you to each and every one. From the bottom of my heart, gratitude to all for watching this channel, for sharing your energies, for being here, supporting this channel. Thank you. Have a great week, Virgos. Take care. Bye-bye.